I've handed this model to people who studied cells their entire lives, even this exact organism, and I don't tell them that it's opened up on the other side. And then they're just looking it over, tilting it around, and then they turn it over and just go nuts. It's super fun. And it's a jolt of this feeling so many people have of seeing a simple cell or simple living thing and then suddenly realizing how insanely complicated and beautiful it is inside. Every time the mother cell buds off a new daughter, it leaves a bud scar, this round puckered scar. You can count the scars and tell how many daughters the mother's had. So this mother cell has had three previous daughters. And in this model, you see the scars on one side, and then you turn it over and you can see a new daughter being produced. And there's the constricted base of the bud, the exact same size as the, as the scars. My lab studies stress granules, these massive conglomerations of proteins and RNA that form when cells get stressed out, like when the cell gets too hot or is starving or gets noxious chemicals dumped on it. And we and others are still trying to figure out uh, exactly what molecules these granules are composed of and how they form and dissolve and what they do in the cell. It's actually a really exciting, exploding part of biology to, to think about these rearrangements of cellular material. But how do you represent such a thing? They're like clouds. It's, they don't have clearly defined form necessarily or hard boundaries, so far as we know. So to make it possible to recognize them, I, I represented them as these spiky balls. And these granules become tethered to organelles, the mitochondria and the ER, uh, just as they are on the model, which is another link that we're just starting to study through collaboration. If you look really closely, there are other granules in the nucleus, and my group has figured out some of the proteins inside those nuclear granules. We're biochemists mostly working on developing simple systems that can recapitulate the formation and dissolution of these granules in a test tube. So this model is like a solid reminder of how complicated the cellular reality really is. There's something about holding that diagram in your hands and peering in, rolling it around, and figuring out how the structures are arranged in space in three dimensions that a picture or a movie just doesn't do. It's like virtual reality without the goggles.